Remove the endolumic tube from the packaging. Do not use if packaging has been previously opened or damaged. Check the outer surfaces for any unintended rough or sharp edges and protrusions and discard if found. Apply surgical lubricant generously onto the tip of the endolumic tube before inserting into patient. Remove the pull tab from the bottom of the handle to turn on the near-infrared light. Verify that the single green light appears. This indicates that the device is powered on. Advance the endolumic tube under direct visualization with surgeon's direction or insert it the same way an OG tube is inserted. Stop once gastric content is visible. Stop if resistance is felt. There are markings along the tube at 30, 40, 50, 60, and 70 centimeters. Direct visualization of the tube is recommended when advancing the device past 30 centimeters. Resistance should not be noted. If resistance is noted, please stop advancing tube and inspect for hiatal hernia or other defects. To remove fluid or enable irrigation, connect active suction tubing to the connector located at the proximal end of the handle. If a nasogastric tube was previously used, this step may not be necessary. Suction or irrigation is intended for use in the stomach only. Do not apply suction or irrigation to the esophagus. When removing the tube, stop the suction and vent the endolumic tube by disconnecting the suction tubing. The distal end of the tube adheres to the lumen of the stomach when suction is applied. Do not pull excessively on the device when suction is applied. To apply leak testing, the stomach may be insufflated through the port of the handle of the device, and after removing the suction tubing, connect the bulb accessory to the handle port and squeeze to achieve the desired effect. Use bulb only when the stomach can be directly visualized. 